All right, what's up? I wanted to quickly showcase my chassis design that I've made for the Battle Brick Saber by the Pack Store. Um, it's a pretty simple chassis. I didn't really want to go over the top with it because it's a fairly simple Saber. I just kind of wanted to get the job done. Um, but what's unique about mine that you've probably seen floating around the Saber groups on Facebook a little bit is uh, this wider blade that makes it look a little bit more realistic. Well, not realistic. Well, compared to the original thing, it's, uh, it's a little bit more accurate. So. Uh, Turning it on, you get full diffusion down the blade, right to the end of it, and uh, it looks pretty good. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is take a quick look at the blade to kind of show you what I've done to make it wider. Um, so there's three retention screws up in the top here you can get with, I think this is an M4 Allen key, uh, and then this just comes out. And you'll kind of already begin to notice what I've done here. So this saber takes a normal one inch blade, uh, but what I've done is I've kind of extended this portion about a sort of inch and a half ish down so that it meets my chassis and then put a stock NeoPixel connector, uh, blade connector on the bottom there. Um, so this is basically a normal blade that goes up the inside of this to the top. Um, but this, it's not got like a tip or anything on the end of it, so it's just kind of a blade that's been uh, cut down to size. And then uh, this piece on the outside, I think I got from somewhere like clearplastictube.co.uk or something like that. Um, so this outside piece is a uh, 40 millimeter outer diameter and 36 millimeter inner diameter. And with it being 40 mil, it can fit in this little space up here in the uh, the top of the battle brick saber, so it just just fits in there perfectly. Um, the only downside to this is this uh, supplier of this material, um, the blade will probably crack quite easily because it's not meant for like dueling or whatever. This is definitely more of a display thing. Um, so actually, there's a there's a a tip piece up here that I 3D printed and got from Shapeways. Um, so this basically, well, there, there's two pieces, so there's one up here and there's one at the bottom, and that merges the outer blade segment like this to the inner uh, one inch blade. You can kind of see the shadow of it up the top there. There's just a piece of foam at the top to kind of diffuse it a little bit more. So yeah, there's the uh, the top piece, which is beveled to make it a little, look a little bit nicer rather than just flat. Um, and there's a bottom piece that goes in just here um, to plug that and uh, basically you super glue the crap out of it and then, and then you get these two pieces that stick together pretty uh, pretty cleanly. Um, so that is basically how the blade works and then everything inside the blade is pretty standard. Um, there's a, there is diffusion foam in there but uh, diffusion film I wouldn't say you need because um, it's just air between this blade and, and this blade um, and then the rest of that does the diffusion for you. Um, so if I take a look at a couple of the other uh, blade styles I've got on here. I've got all of the uh, the Lego death noises as the different people's fonts. So that's how uh, that's how red looks. There's no no shadowing at the edge or whatever. I got the <laughs> got the emperor's one. Um, there you go. There's a blue one. I was trying to find a blue. And then this one was uh, Kylo Ren's that I put on here as well, just to kind of pretend Lego font. But you can see the diffusion works perfectly even for uh, for something like this. But you can see there's no shadowing on the blade whatsoever, so it actually it looks pretty cool. So yeah, there you go, there is the main blade. I'll just put that to one side. So if you haven't seen this hilt before, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, it's a life-size version of the Lego Star Wars lightsabers. Um, it's got a couple of buttons here, so it's got one on this side and then one on this side as well. I wish there was a little bit more differentiation between the two, but I kind of remember when this screw is pointing this way. This is my ignition button because there's not a screw here. So what I've done with this saber is I've given it, as I said before, a kind of nothing too special kind of chassis. So uh, you can unscrew this piece here and uh, actually before I get to that 
um, I just wanted to mention the uh, the bottom section here and the top section are the, the kind of bigger versions of the top and bottom that come with this hilt because there's two versions actually there's a smaller one of this and then there's a smaller one of this uh, as well uh, but I opted to go for the bigger version because I could fit the uh, the bigger blade in this section at the top here anyway yeah back to what I was doing so this is the chassis it's very very standard um, takes a key power 18650 battery uh, protected 15 amp battery yeah, and it takes, I believe, a KR Sabres uh, 24 millimeter speaker in the bottom, I believe. Um, the, the back's not very neat. This was one of the first chassis I ever designed. Um, it's got uh, some hot glue <laughs> sealed points around the edge. I've gotten a little bit better since I designed this one, but this was a nice starting point for me. So all the wires at the back just come down here, and then they go on, they go in, sorry, underneath the profi board. Um, <clears throat> So to access the rest of the design, there's a grub screw here that screws into a nut in the chassis. So if you take this piece out, you kind of unscrew it about halfway to about there, then you can take the, oh, I haven't unscrewed it enough there, hold on. There we go, that should do it, right. Then you can take the chassis out. And then if you give this piece a little shake, the two little button heads come out as well. So they stay on the inside. Um, it's a little bit weird putting this together, but it's, uh, it, it works out. So this is the chassis design. Um, it's got a stock pixel connector integrated into the top of this with two uh, sliced magnets, um, because you need this kind of channel space to get the button heads in. So they, they start here and then you push it in like that. So that it lines up with these uh, button PCBs that I've got from the Saber Armoury. And these are the OWK button PCBs from Saber Armoury. Um, this is just a generic M4 nut that I got off of Amazon. And then a profi board right here. It's a pretty simple chassis, uh, but it does the job. Um, and then underneath this battery, you've got these two uh, Keystone battery contacts, also from the Saber Armoury. But yeah, the, uh, the chassis works out pretty well. Um, it kind of it gets the job done and uh, you can see if I take the other or well, the blade to it It's kind of odd seeing a chassis the same width as a uh, as as the actual blade piece here um, So if you uh, turn this on You can see that uh, the lights well the LEDs come all the way down here And then they go into the pixel connector and the magnets just kind of hold it in place. You don't need them uh, but it does help a little bit, so that's why I've added those. But yeah, that is the um, chassis design. Um, it's pretty basic, um, and the saber was pretty basic as well, so I didn't want to go like all out for it. Um, but if you want this chassis design and also the two pieces that go in the blade, I'll put a link to those in the description below, and you can get them through my Shapeway store. So yeah, that is the chassis. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to see you give this chassis a try. All right, see you later.